Welcome water signs to your reading for this week. Uh, sorry that the uh, reading is a little bit late. I appreciate your patience. I have been uh, traveling. I was, uh, well, <laughs> I traveled three hours away and spent some time with my aunt, but I also spent some time with my parents. Uh, trying to keep things very uh, small, just a couple of people because of the uh, restrictions and the coronavirus and not wanting to uh, spread things around too much. And so fortunately, uh, a lot of the people that I know are very isolated themselves. And so I can feel comfortable um, seeing them as well. So here we are, uh, water signs in this time of uh, Coming up, the month of December is very important this year, the year of 2020. So many things have happened. Who knows? Maybe we'll uh, get the get the opportunity to um, to get a vaccine that we're able to um, use and have things start to change in our in our lives. In the meantime, we're being locked down again in a lot of in a lot of states and a lot of different ways a lot of curfews, a lot of uh, restrictions that are happening for us. So it's the time of the hermit. It's the time to, the Virgo energy, if you know the hermit, anywhere from, you know, meditation, inspiration, uh, work going internally, working on yourself, uh, spending time alone uh, in in nature and inside yourself. But also the, the Virgo is, you know, just, uh, Finding pleasure in the little things, you know, cleaning your house, doing your dishes. What are the little things in life that you can, and how can you find uh, pleasure in them? I know for me in the past, when I looked at, you know, like folding clothes, I was like, oh, folding clothes never ends. It's really frustrating. And there still is an element of that where it's, you know, maybe not my favorite thing to do. But if we think of it as a sense, a time for us to uh, meditate or to uh, live in the moment and do mindfulness, you know, mindfulness is that when you're, you know, folding a towel, you're not just, um, you know, folding a towel. You're thinking about, you know, putting the towel together and the edges, put the edges together and, uh, you know, place the towel away. So. Spending that um, time not thinking about all of these crazy things in the world, but just uh, focused on, on the task at hand. So what do we have available to us? So water signs, I would like to do your reading today for the first week of December, but also um, in thinking about the energies of the uh, full moon and uh, the uh, eclipse that's happening on uh, the day that I'm doing this is actually the 30th with the eclipse and the full moon. Tonight I'll be doing a uh, live uh, that spe specifically points to this, uh, the full moon um, and, uh, you know, the, the full moon uh, energies uh, coming in. So it's, it's going to be a, a really important time. And so if you get a chance to uh, watch watch that live on the Facebook, Spiritual Rebirth Tarot Facebook, um, that'll be a real um, benefit for you. And then also, um, Water Science, let us ask, first of all, from this um, Angels and Ancestors deck, who will be guiding you um, at this time for this week in preparation for um, the uh, December 21st. You know, it's interesting. Uh, underneath is the night, and the night really has that um, old energy um, that, that is coming through. Okay, so let's ask for guidance from the divine and protection for us in this reading. Okay, so as we begin, begin to uh, look at this uh, message that we're looking for, we can put the Reiki energy in the deck, which will direct us toward the card that we see. Okay. 
the lady. Um, enjoy growth and reap rewards. So this is a great card for this time of year as we are ending the uh, fall and the harvest and moving into the winter. This is the, well, there's a lot of different names for each one of the full moons. One of the names that I heard is the oak tree. And so um, I know that there's an apple represented here, but I'm thinking about the oak and how the oak creates all of these acorns. And, you know, acorns, may we may not look at it and go, oh, I would just love to eat that, you know. Um, but they are such an important, prolific um abundance is provided for all of the little creatures especially you know the creatures like the uh, squirrels and those kind of creatures but um, this true abundance that is there to uh, collect to hide uh, to plant you know they kind of like plant some of them and hide some of them and they have that energy and so at this time of the uh, the full moon energy this week and um, just the the end of the uh, growing season moving into the winter and uh, coming up to the winter solstice in December 21st and so as the, as the days get shorter and things get more kind of cozy in our lives to really continue to see that abundance is all around so even if the leaves have fallen off the tree abundance is still there uh, with those trees with the energy that they're providing uh, throughout the winter their uh, their bark for some animals their uh, their shelter for others their their food in different ways and there's still an important um, energy even in the dormant state waking, waking, waiting for the uh, the new that's coming and so this lady is saying, you know, enjoy the growth, reap the rewards of your efforts. And so water sense, many of you, you know, in this reading, you have, you have planted your seeds and now is the time to let those grow. And we're having the harvest here at um, December 21st, which is the uh, winter solstice, the grand conjunction of uh, Jupiter and Saturn starting at the age of Aquarius and a, a new earth um, where many, many more people will be connected to the uh, 5D um, in a very uh, strong way because of the vibration of the planet. And, you know, um, many, many of us kind of come to this earth as star seeds uh, from other worlds and from other places to help in this, uh, in this change in the earth uh, from kind of a, a dense 3D to uh, moving into this uh, brighter uh, 5D. And as we're doing that, you know, you don't know who that is, what they may look like, or, or what, um, how, how their appearance uh, might be. And you, you may be, and I think a lot of star seeds are drawn to this channel. And, um, and as they're uh, drawn to this channel, we try to help to give you uh, the messages that will um, help you in this time. So uh, please subscribe to the channel and like the video and share with uh, your friends. And uh, Water Science, please, I'm so excited to see the channel growing and uh, have uh, more people become involved. And the more of you that subscribe and uh, share the videos and like them, the more the, the message can get out, you know, that, um, you know, each each week we uh, try to bring the, uh, the true, the messages of that week and the, uh, the channeling from uh, those who have gone before. Okay, so um, let's take a look at the uh, tarot for this this time period. Uh, water signs. So, uh, what 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 do you what message do you need to hear um, for this time? Um, water signs. Okay, 
Okay, so the first card is the uh, Five of Cups. And so I'm being drawn to how sad he looks. You know, it's funny because when I first saw the card, I thought of the Hermit. And then I realized it was the Five of Cups. You know, it's the same tall figure uh, dressed in black. And, you know, he has that, um, the dignity. And so uh, water signs, you know, this week, you're kind of far from the water. And uh, you, you're you trying to find, uh, you're trying to find things from these cups instead. And uh, you just kind of need to move toward the water, uh, toward those energies that are your natural energies that you have, the, uh, the feelings, the emotions, being able to express them. So during this week, you're, you're being drawn to the water away from these cups, cups that just didn't, didn't work out. And uh, even the ones that are standing up, they really aren't what you need. What you need is the, uh, the, true, the true beauty of the running water, the give and take energy of a flowing river. Um, and you know, the way it impacts everything around it, how everything uh, grows and develops. You know, there is a, a, a bridge in the distance that you can travel across the other side. But at this time, I feel like you're just being drawn to the water itself. And uh, as you find those, uh, those energies, the water energies. So take a look um, at, you know, there, there are many, many, many descriptions of what what water means i know i think one thing i read you know was uh you know uh crying as needed uh crying uh grieving if needed but also uh rejoicing you know the sound of a brook uh going over the uh rapids and the kind of the beauty and the majesty the strength and the happiness of those sounds so listening to uh, listening to sound and the sound of water, I think will be very important for you this week. So let's see what other energies are coming out for for you, water signs. Okay, the Empress. We have that with the Earth signs as well. So Venus, the the, uh, the love card, the three. So the five to the three, and um, you know Venus, you know the Empress, this beautiful energy of growth and grounding and love and beauty, uh, passion. She's coming to you, and, and you know, as some reason, I'm being drawn to her. She's like in in the you might want to watch the uh, the reading uh, for um, the uh, Earth signs. You know, um, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo because uh, they also have this card, but they also have this this heart guardian, and I'm being drawn to her um, her protection, her defense her shield and it has the femininity and so it's like she's being defended by the feminine this week so whether you're a man or a woman um you know being drawn to water being drawn to the feminine energy this week is going to give you the protection that you need and so you know uh, you might be a fairly sensitive person and have a you know having a lot of the water sign you might be a fairly sensitive person in these energies but it's and being affected by the moon and the strength of the moon at this time a very strong moon but uh, and also with an eclipse and we're going into the eclipse season the femininity and love will be your protection so you might want to watch that um that video as well and the, uh, you know how love might be playing out in your life so um what are signs I've, I've just really being drawn to this, you know, a divine feminine energy 
and this uh, this overwhelming uh, love will really be what is uh, moving and uh, drawing with it this time. Hello, it's uh, welcome back. Uh, I had to take a little pause. Um, so we had been uh, looking at these cups that I was talking about, you know, as your watery energy. It's good to walk into, into this um, energy and uh, also, you know, this love of uh, pointing you to uh, maybe even watching the reading from before. So what else are your, um, is everyone uh, pointing us toward, uh, especially for you guys? And I know I have an ascending in Scorpio, so I have a little bit of water. Oh, and Venus is Cancer, so I think it's a little more than a little. So sometimes I find that our other signs will affect us quite a bit as well. Okay, so we'll put Reiki energy into the desk and ask for guidance in this card. So continue your energy as a fool. So um, this is a Sagittarius card, and this is the time of Sagittarius. So that's a... Uh, Nice to um, have that energy coming out, you know, that free spirit, free flowing. And uh, so, you know, as a water sign, and you say, you know, go to the water, spend time with the water. And in that, in that uh, time, you know, look uh, to that free uh, flowing energy of the fool. The fool um, doesn't overthink things and doesn't overfeel things. They just uh, walk into the next thing as it needs to happen. And then also um, the little dog there makes me think of, you know, there may be somebody this week for you that is a, a companion and a help uh, with this uh, journey and with this flow. And so let's take a look at um, another card. This one just wanted to pop out. It's another fire card water sign so there's a lot of uh, heating up a little bit heating up in your life um the strength is the leo and the uh strength has as a very feminine energy um and i've been thinking a lot about the the eight and um you know it's it's a lot of people's life paths uh, it's my life path uh, a lot of people have uh, eight in their life path you know we've been here multiple times we have been learning a lot we have a lot more to uh, learn and to um, offer to the world and it's kind of that infinity number you know staying up so you take the eight and you put it on your side and it's that infinity number and you know thinking about the concept of time and how when we look at our our lives we think of of time as this a linear thing you know I do this then I do that, then I do this, then I do that. And yet, in a way, if we really look at our life, it's like um, this huge bubble of, of time and of adventure. And so when you are healing, when you're doing those kind of works, you know, think about healing in all directions of time, both the uh, present, the past, and the future. And as we heal all those things, everything is, is brought together into a, a better healing state and so the uh the fool and the strength together you know um just taking things as they come and going toward that prize and then the the strength is you have the strength to do it uh you can face your fears and you can uh, move forward in that so the um i would like to pull the uh four cards uh, to clarify these cards. Okay, water signs. Let's ask for guidance. But it cannot be like a Better understanding of these cards. It's a message that's being presented to you for this coming week and then also in preparation for uh, the 21st, the, uh, the solstice, solstice the uh, Great Awakening into Aquarius, the conjunction and the joining of uh, Jupiter and Saturn. Okay. 
moon, judgment. So you're getting lots of major arcana cards. Um, two of wands and knight of swords. Underneath we have the king of pentacles, the devil, the hierophant, the star. I think you're getting just about every. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight out of the 20 major arcana cards. <laughs> so uh, it's a pretty important week for you, water signs. So like we were saying, really focus on that water energy. I think also that um, this uh, moon energy is going to be really significant for you. This full moon is happening right now in Gemini. Um, and it's also an eclipse. And so this evening I'll be doing the uh, live reading on my uh, Facebook with that. And basically, um, the, you know, the moon, the moon kind of connecting with this, um, you know, I, I'm being drawn to the water in both of them. And, uh, there's kind of gifts coming out of the water and the moon. There are a lot of things that you don't know and that you don't understand in both of these cards. And I feel like going back to your roots, going back to your true energies, is what's going to lead and guide you during this week. And um, during this uh, love, growth, harmony, there'll also be some, you know, opening of caskets, looking at things from a new direction. Uh, waking up from old patterns and walking into like a new a new road in life and so the, the fool says you know let's let's go ahead let's let's take the world as it is let's walk into the uh, beauty of it go on an adventure and um, you know the guy the guy in the two of ones is also looking at the world and he's thinking of an adventure and he's also um, manifesting um, into his life and uh, following his intuition and looking inside into his heart. And um, so I really, I really feel that um, there's a, a sense of moving forward and moving out into the world. I heard this beautiful illustration uh, talking about the... Uh, Aquarius, which we have the Aquarius card over here in the underline of the deck. And Aquarius basically has the energy where the first thing you do is you look inside and you really get to know yourself. And once you know yourself, you're able to come out to the world and have so much to give and to offer to the world of your true authentic self. And so it has both the um, hope and healing of the inside and then the humanitarian efforts of the world um, and the wish fulfillment on the, on the outside. So it has kind of like both energies. And that's what I feel like here with this, uh, the two, with the two of wands. It's kind of like a double energy of the, the inside of you and the outside of you um, coming together in unity. And, uh, this is, you know, you can see it as uh, moving uh, swiftly into strength, going uh, strong, you know, straight forward into strength. And I'm kind of noticing those trees in the background. Um, both of them have very well-grown, long-established uh, type of uh, scenery around them. And so... This Knight of Swords is not just running into something without knowing where he's going. I really feel that, you know, his courage is leading him in a new direction. And it may not be very clear, but it is following his heart and his intuition and going, going where uh, the Spirit is leading. And so this week... Um, it, it, there's a lot of movement here in the cards and so not that you'll be actually traveling somewhere else although you might be because 
of the Christmas holiday coming up, that there's going to be some element of movement. It could be finding a new job, uh, walking into a new situation, a new uh, situation in your uh, love lives, any way that um, kind of like the progress forward and a new beginning in your life. So um, the underneath this deck, the underlying energy, I, I feel like you have been tied up uh, with your abundance. So, you know, you are the king of pentacles. You are abundance. You, you have um, all that it takes to really, you know, you are that wonderful person. But there are things in your life that have been binding you and keeping you back. And a lot of what's been coming out in this reading is that true authentic self. And many times being afraid to be our authentic self, being afraid that um, the world is going to see us and, and judge us for who we are instead of accept us for who we are. But in the end, we have to say what we truly believe and it's not our responsibility how other people respond to that. And so this, this King of Pentacles is being, you know, you can see the, the cord around him. You know, he's being tied, tied by this devil energy, this Capricorn. And I feel like some of the bigger things in life and the other, um, you know, and those wishes fulfillments and going into yourself and finding your true self is what will uh, bring you um, out, out of that kind of, situation. So I hope that this uh, reading has helped you uh, for this uh, time period. And uh, we do have an extended that goes with this. We continue on with the story and we use this uh, new tarot deck that they have. I, it's hard to say Lenormand. <laughs> so yeah, Lenormand deck and it just has beautiful stories that come out. And we'll take a look at some of the story that you'll be following here in this uh, coming week and preparation for December 21st. So thank you so much for coming to this. Please subscribe and like my channel. And thank you so much for being a part of this journey. If anything resonated with you and you'd like to know more, I do private readings and feel free to uh, book one of those either through my Facebook or my Etsy page. And um, in that in that uh, booking, uh, we can talk about some of these uh, things, what movement might mean for, for you and, and what moving toward the water might mean for you uh, during this time period. So come on over to the extended, the link is below, just push that link on Vimeo and if not, you can see a beautiful picture of Mount St. Helens on there, which is always really cool. Okay, so I will uh, see you over at the extended. The link is below. Take care.